You don't do right because somebody is doing right to you. You do right because it's right to do right. I'm not doing right because somebody qualified for right. I do right because it's the right thing to do the right thing. Wife, submit to your husband. The day you make up your mind to marry him, submit. Not because he's a good man, because it's your right to submit. Now, submission is your own position. Not because, if, even if he's a drunkard, submit to a drunkard husband. That's what the Bible says. So, you don't have a reason, authentic enough, not to submit to him. Then for the man, even a nagging wife, love her. So, people go for divorce because their laws are broken. Did you hear that? Marriage is not feeling. It's not chemistry. It's not love. As soon as I saw you, there was chemistry. Now, that chemistry will vanish. You will see physics. Even biology itself, you will not even see. <laughs> it starts with chemistry, then, then physics, motion. <laughs> then biology. So you will, you see, that is why marriage is covenant of two people who have agreed to live together for life, irrespective of whatever happens. That's marriage. So when a man stays in his part of the divide, and honors his obligation, the woman honors his obligation, you have good marriage. If you see a man and his wife living for celebrating 50 years anniversary, there are two people tolerating each other. Hey, you are my robot the robot there marriage. Oh, 60 years marriage anniversary. They are just managing each other. <laughs> Even the parent that gave birth to you, sometimes don't you feel like are you sure you are my mother? <laughs> but can you dismother her? <laughs> can you dismother her? Are you sure you are my real father? <laughs> are you getting what I'm saying here? So, when a man refused to love his wife like Christ loved the church, to the extent that Christ laid down his life I know you are married. How many kids? Can you lay down your life for your wife? Yes, sir. Hey, you are a fake man. <laughs> Why are you in front of me? <laughs> Evans, can you lay down your life for your wife? By the grace of God, sir. By the grace of God. <laughs> <laughs> it's too, because I tease this man, he just fast track his own. <laughs> John will never mature. <laughs> This, by God's grace, when he's tested, when he stands on the altar of trial, <laughs> are you hearing what I'm saying? No, no. Christ loved the church to an extent that Christ laid down his life, meaning there is no amount. Oh, this woman did this woman did that. No, love her, lay your life down. It's a law. And let me shock you. The moment you divorce your first wife, you keep marrying. The second wife, you realize that your first was better. Your third wife, you realize that even the second one was better. You keep marrying. You become what Bini call Omono Zuzu. <laughs> keep Zuzu in. <laughs> There's a parable in Ibo land. Ebonyeno, Ebonano, Ranagwea. 
When you are in a place where you are not, will be hungry in you. When you are in a place, you'll be missing where you are not. That's how it is. So life is a law. 